What is up, everyone? This is the Rockness Monster, and we're here back in Monster Hunter 3 Ultimate after about a week or so. Uh, I took a little bit of a break. I've been playing the other Monster Hunter games, enjoying that a bunch. But it's time to get back here, get you guys through this story, uh, the light story that it has. And we're going to talk to the guild sweetheart. And we have a new quest after taking down the Great Jagai last time. Bear Trap. So, capturing Arzuros. Uh, we're going to go ahead and get right into this. But before we take on this capture quest, uh, we're going to talk to the little cook here. Little kitty cat guy. And he's got some thorny meat, moss pork, algae, jellyfish, scalefish, kokoto rice, and jumbo bread. So we're going to do this and... We're going to do this from the start, just to see. So that'll give us 10 extra health at the start of a quest. So we can get that health bar up to 110 instead of sitting at 100. And uh, I think we'll do... I can't remember exactly what all the skills do on this game. We'll do Defender. It increases our chance to uh, not take as much damage from certain hits. So we're going to go ahead out on this Capture Quest. It's a little different from your standard quest. It, it is what it sounds like. It is a Capture Quest, so... The purpose of this quest is to capture the monster that you're going up against, and if you kill it, you fail. So we we definitely do not want to kill it. We're gonna take our set. We're gonna get our map, of course, and our other supply items we typically get. But we got two traps here and tranquilizer bombs. So using those, we can uh, when the monster's weak, we can put down a trap, have him get stuck in it. Throw those Trank Bombs, knock him out, and quest complete. But we're going to go ahead and find this Arzuros guy. It's called Bear Trap for a reason, and you guys are about to see why this quest is called that, other than it being a capture quest. So let's go ahead and check out this Arzuros here. So we got some of those gross little bugs sucking up some honey, but there's our uh, boss we're going to be going up against, the Arzuros. He is going for that honey like any bear would. Now, I know what you're thinking. Rockness, this, this doesn't look like a typical bear. Well, nothing in this game looks like a typical anything, really. So we're going to go charge right in his uh, head. And his butt are his weak points. So we're going to try and target those. Yeah, see his, his arm, those braces on his arms there. Bounce right off. So we're going to try and target his butt as much as we can. It's a good hit point. Ah, he scratched me. He turned around on me. So this is just going to be... Probably, he, he's got a little more HP. But yeah, you see those uh, sparkles shoot up around me whenever I got hit just then? That's that uh, defender bonus kicking in. Ah, man. He hits a lot harder than the great Jagai does. It feels like, anyways. But I'm just barely trying to hit that tail end of him, his little butt there. Yeah, I keep hitting those arm braces on accident. They bounce right off of those. Can't penetrate those yet. There we go again with that. They can be broken, though. So that's one of his break parts. I'm going to try and get a decent charge here. Perfect. Yep, staggered him. Good, good, good. All right, so we're going to try and... All right, he's, he doesn't look too happy with us. He's pouncing at us. I don't know how that missed, to be honest, but... Oh, well. He's going to pounce at us again. Going to sneak up behind him. Bam. So, basically, this 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 fight is just uh, targeting his tail like that. I guess tail, his rear... Oh, that hit hard. All right, I'm going to have to heal up. He does this attack for quite a long time. The slash... And, all right, cool. We're clear. He's trying to sneak up behind him. He turns around real quick. There's our chance to attack. Ah, I didn't get a good cut on. Oh, no, he pounced on me. This isn't good. Yep. So this is what happens. A monster will pin you, and he just shakes the life out of me. And I got to... You can probably hear me button mashing like crazy, but that's how I can get released quickly from him. Ugh. And this guy, he's doing a decent amount of damage because uh, my health is, or my armor is really low, and I haven't played this game in a little bit. Is he already limping? Yeah, it looks like it. So he's ready to get trapped whenever. Um, I may hit him 
one or two more times just to be certain. But yeah, we've already... Wow, that didn't take long at all. I think that one charge attack drained a ton of his health, but he's already getting fairly weak. So he's limping away. And this gives us an opportunity to set down this trap here. The easy shock trap. I'm going to go ahead and head into this area, wait for him, set the trap up, and hopefully he'll walk right into it. So I'm going to go ahead and set the trap here. So when he comes into this area, he'll charge right at us, hopefully run right into that trap. And we'll trank him, and we'll be done with our first capture quest. And I think done with our two-star quest, actually, which is awesome for us to be already done with that. Come on, charge at me, big boy. I'm waiting for you. He's just standing there roaring. I'll taunt him a little bit. Where's our taunt gesture? Yeah. There he is. All right. Beautiful. Hey, 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 hey. Come on, come on, come on. Get up. Get up. Oh, my God. I shouldn't have done that. Oh, that was close. <laughs> I almost wasted the entire time I had, or the opportunity I had taunting him. He, my guy dropped on the floor. I've never, it's a little different taunt than uh, other games, I think. <laughs> But perfect, we uh, completed that. That did not take any time at all. Let's see. Took us... I, well, it was under five minutes. I know that much. So yeah, awesome. We've taken care of that quest really quick. And we're going to go ahead and knock one more major quest out during this episode. And uh, like I said, I'm trying to shorten them down a little bit so people want to watch for the entire the entirety of the video so we got a pretty good amount of his items maybe we can even make his armor not too interested in making his armor though so that was our Arzaros first introduction to our uh, bear monster I guess you could say he's a type of fanged beast I believe we'll see more of those uh, as the game progresses but that's the first of many and I'm gonna not worry about what this guy's saying and we'll get right into the next quest in just a minute all right, so I'm talking to the guild sweetheart. She's got some uh, important text for us. I normally don't worry about text, but for this, I think it's a little important. So, not just anybody can capture such a fierce monster. Okay, I know. Great. Uh, don't let it go to your head. Everybody at guild HQ is talking about you and me, your trusty relation. Okay. I bet your thing is about time you moved on to hunt a new area. Well, slow down. There's a little boy who has a request from you. He spotted some kind of strange creature in the woods. He thinks it's a pixie. Isn't that cute? Kids. You should have seen him. A few measly zinni clutched in his tiny hand as he begged for someone, anyone, to help. Be a sport and check it out, even if it does sound like a bunch of malarkey. So apparently there's something in the woods, very mysterious. So says the kid. Nobody really believes him. Shakalaka Savior. If you've played previous Monster Hunter games, you may know what a shakalaka is. It's a uh, really mysterious kind of creature but we'll just let you uh see him in the quest so i've already eaten and we're gonna head on out into the deserted island and seeing what exactly this is this uh so-called pixie is out on the quest so if you see there something's signaling me on the map already and it looks like it's in area six so we're going to try and head to area 6, and I know I have like some weird red lines and lighting coming around me. That's because uh, the food skill I got increased my attack by a small amount. So I think normally I'm around 430. I'm at 446 right now, so it gave me a slight attack boost. But we're going to go ahead and ignore everything in these other areas. Help me help Cha-Cha. Me will be monster food. Okay, so... This is what has been uh, seen in the forest, apparently. There's some sleeping Jagai. Oh, do not want to disturb them. There's our little pixie. <laughs> Probably one of the most adorable things in this entire game series, if you ask me. I love this little guy. The little shakalaka. He walked right into a bunch of sleeping monsters, woke him up. Now he's in trouble. And looks like we've got to save his little rear end. We're going to do that. We can't let this cute little guy get injured. He's running right over to us. It's the cutest thing I've ever seen. Look at him. <laughs> but, all right, so we got to take out these Jagaya. They are aggressive towards just him for whatever reason. We're just going to cut them all up as best we can. Get them away from my friend. All right, beautiful. One more hit. Oh, well... 
Perfect. We took him out. Get up, little buddy. All right, now he's just digging away. Where are you going? All right, so he, he dug off. We just got to wait for him, I think, to signal us again. He's going to get into more trouble, I believe. Yeah, he's over there in Area 9. So we're going to head right over to Area 9 and help out our little Shakalaka once again. And see what uh, trouble he's gotten into this time. Alright, so it looks like he ran into some Ludroth over here, being the little troublemaker he is. And we're just going to cut these guys up for him real quick. And he'll be just fine. Try and watch his little health bar. He's not getting injured too much. So, I think we're going to be alright. He's not in too much danger here. Already took care of those. He's digging back down. I'm going to carve up these guys. Perfect. More immature sponges. Those are quite valuable for me, actually. And I think he's going to signal us one more time. Yep, he's in Area 2 now. So he's almost back to our base camp where we'll give him one last, uh, I guess, moment of he uh, help. And hopefully it's we'll be done with his antics and not have to worry about having to save him again. So we're going to head right into Area 2 here. And let's see what trouble he's gotten into this time right next to base camp. And it's a ton of Jagai. Wow, there's at least... There looks like there's eight of them in one spot, and he just ran into all of them. But I'm cutting them all up, taking care of four of them already. That's why I prefer great swords. You can just hack and slash and just sit in one spot and just cover so much ground with it. And uh, it just decimates small enemies like this and just knocks them out of the way, clears everything in the area. Took care of him. I hit him a little bit. He's okay, though. Come on, little buddy. You can get up now. All right, now his cute little self is digging his way. I think he dug into our base camp. We're going to head there, see what he has to say to us. Probably thank us and bow down to his savior. There he is. Cha-Cha thought me done for. Much thank a like a hunter to champion. Okay, so his name is Cha-Cha, I believe that was said in the quest but this is Cha Cha and we saved him so in return he's gonna be a little companion for the rest of the game it's awesome having this little guy with you he uh, he can do all kinds of stuff he does little dances and spells to heal you I mean having him even though he's just a little tiny I guess you say pixie or monster that accompanies you he can he does a lot good for you being on your team so we get some jagai parts plenty of that and some other not so important except for honey honey is always important some other stuff that's not monster parts but we're gonna head back into the village and see what they have to say about our new friend cha-cha joining us and he's he's running right in so excited like he owns the place the village chief is just sitting there. And he just starts dancing. It's it's this thing this guy's the best. I love him so much. Making him making the village chief crack up. The kids love him. He's he's an absolute blast. So we found our new friend for the entire rest of the series. And uh, there's stuff that he can say. It's greedy, greedy hunter. Yeah, right. Tried to put hurt on the monsters, but I stole his thunder. Who is Cha Cha Shakalaka? You know no Cha Cha. He is the he is the lone wolf champion of the great Shakalaka tribe. He's a little boy. He's he's just a little kid, Shakalaka. I think there were enemies in some of the previous games, but this game you have a little Shakalaka companion, which is different from having a feline cat companion like previous games. So he was going on a child to adulthood journey, it seems. He was in the looking for a mask, a legendary gold mask. Okay, so that was his journey he was on. And that was his, uh, I guess, kind of like a, I don't want to say anything inaccurate. So like some tribes around the world, I guess, go through a journey to manhood. So that's what shot this uh, cha-cha guy was doing here I guess all right so we can invite him on our quests now so we can tag him along and bam he's at our side follows us everywhere we go 
and we can do other stuff with him. I might get into that a little bit more detail, but he can do he can change in mass, which give different abilities. Do dances, which give uh, different spells and abilities to us. Select his abilities overall and his stats. So he has his own stat set too. But I think that's going to do it for this episode. We took care of an Arzuros and got our companion, our best little baby friend there, Shakalaka Cha Cha, who's going to be with us for the rest of the game. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I had to do it kind of quickly, and I may be a little rusty on my Monster Hunter knowledge and uh, skills. But I hope it was uh, enjoyable for you guys. So be sure to leave a like, comment down below. I want to see some uh, feedback from you guys in the comments. So be sure to uh, let me know what you guys think of the series and any other videos you see on the channel. This has been the Rockness Monster, and I'll see you guys back next time in Monster Hunter 3 Ultimate.